Uh, my name is Joe Wünscher. I'm filling in for my PhD student who couldn't make it. Um, for the last 30 years or so, we've been developing autonomous cars, initially mostly with monocular model-based vision. For the last 12 years or so, we've been concentrating on off-road driving, where we used LiDAR and also increasingly used stereo. Now, one in hindsight almost trivial observation is that if you're using a horizontal stereo setup, it's very hard to see horizontal structures. Like this boom barrier here is almost invisible in horizontal stereo. So the question is what to do. Well, you might add another camera. Uh, now this, obviously, as I just said, won't work. Now this would be another suggestion, you know, have 100 cameras or how many. Uh, that obviously is computationally pretty expensive and uh, for an online solution on, on a car this might be prohibitive. So what we did is just add a third camera, uh, which is vertically aligned, and it shares the same uh, left-hand camera. So that camera is the common camera, and then it's pretty easy to actually rectify that setup. So this is the first set, you know, to rectify the, the vertical camera pair and the horizontal camera pair based on this common camera. You then can do in parallel the horizontal stereo and a vertical stereo, there's no additional cost other than an extra processor, but it doesn't cost you any time. Then the contribution of this paper mainly is how do you then fuse those two disparities together, which obviously is going to cost a couple milliseconds, uh, but can still be done online. So on a vertical stereo, this is the image that you would see. You would see the boom very nicely, uh, but not the vertical structures. On the horizontal stereo, you see um, the vertical structures. Now, how do you fuse those two disparities? Well, obviously, if there is no disparity here and there's one there, you, well, you just pick that one. But what do you do if there's a disparity in both images? Now, you could take the bigger disparity, which means the closer obstacle is the one that you take. Well, that's one solution. It's a safe solution maybe for driving. Or you could just do a, a mix of both. That's probably the worst solution. What we uh, did is, we, what we're suggesting is, we're using a trick that you do in sub-pixel accuracy stereo. Uh, you basically fit a parabola into your disparity. And the lowest point of the parabola gives you uh, the disparity location. But also what you can observe and what you can think of is the steeper this parabola is the more pointed or the peakness of this parabola actually gives you a hint as to how well uh, you can compute this disparity. So if you take uh, the horizontal stereo, uh, red means now higher peakness of this, um, of this parabola fit. So the, the more red it is, the better these disparities can be computed. So here you see all the vertical structures and the horizontal image are very well. And on the vertical stereo, the horizontal structures you can see very well. So now you can uh, combine those two. And uh, this is another way of looking at it. Here you see the point cloud of this horizontal camera pair. And you obviously don't see the boom here. While if uh, in the vertical stereo, you see that uh, boom barrier very well, but not the horizontal. So these are the two, how they are combined, you know, how they are individually, you see the vertical structures very well in the horizontal, and the horizontal structures very well in the vertical camera pair. And this is then how it looks when you fuse them both, so you basically have a nice uh, fused image. That's it. See you at the post.